Hello again, this is Jeremy from Matrix Integrated in Bend, Oregon. Just showing you a 22 Revel build we just finished. So this van is riding on the Van Compass 4.3 plus suspension. It's running 5,400 pound Agile Leafs in the back as the client's going to have us install the Agile 28 gallon rear fuel tank, the transfer tank, as well as he tows a heavy boat. So needed more spring in the back. As you can kind of see from this viewpoint here, rear has a little bit of rake. So the rear end's a little higher than the front, which is what we like to see for handling, load capacity, and aesthetics. So again, this is 5,400 pound springs on the Rebel. Typically we run the 54s on the Storytellers and a 4,700 pound on the Rebel. This is again, 5,400s on this Rebel. This one over here, which the rear end's sagging in a little bit of a depression at the uh, manhole cover there, but this, is a 4.3 suspension on a Rebel, where the rear is just about even with the front. So we'll take a look at the suspension here. So again, adjustable Falcons in the front, Sumo Spring bump stops in the front, adjustable rear Falcons and Agile 5400s on this van. Did the Illumines side ladder, surf pole, surf hooks, Black Rhino arsenals on General Grabber ATXs and a 275-75, sorry, 275-70-17 tire size, which meant that we had to add the no rub fenders up here. So, Mondo Mudguard, no rub fenders from Terra Wagon. In the back, did a backwoods rear bumper, rigid lights, using a factory switch. Owl spare tire carrier, their new Expedition model, which holds a tire or a box. Large expedition box, two one-up bike trays with pen locks on the B2 carrier. Pretty standard rear for us. Owl exhaust. Did a rear diff skid. And also engine and transmission skids, which I'll show you here. So the Van Compass, Van Compass engine skid is a steel front plate, the aluminum secondary plate, and then behind it is the transmission transfer case skid. I'll show you the sumo spring bump stops right back there. On the front, CA2 and Hammerhead front bumper, Warren VR Evo 12S winch with synthetic line. This winch has a remote controller. CA tunes gray Mad Max D rings. Baja Designs LP9 Pros and Amber. This is a high version. High power. Low power is a third of the LEDs. So you can use the factory switches. Van also has onboard air compressor, 
which is that position. Here's our high position for the LP9 Pros, low power. I'll turn off the rear lights. Also did the DT pedal box from Germany. So this is low power of the LP9 Pros. There's three LEDs on. Client also opted for the daytime running light function to be on, which I'll show you here. Lights off. So the DRLs just give a little bit of glow to the lights when they're off. So a little bit of a marker light, kind of like a Ford Raptor. Also up top, we did Agile's new Loveland gear tray. And Agile's Max Trex mounts. So here's a Loveland tray. So we move solar panel up. We move the front, move the other solar panel to the very, very front, the passenger side. Gives a little bit of real estate here in case uh, client wanted to have some custom mounts for an you know, alu box or something like that. But this tray gives a nice, easy access point, especially here at the Illumina side ladder. Could be a backwoods side ladder as well. New owl ladder. Lots of great side ladders. This client wanted the Illumines side ladder to match the surf pole for his stand-up paddle boards and the surf hooks. But again, back to the Agile Loveland tray, just a lot of real estate where you could easily store soft bags, um, you know, Pelican cases, that kind of thing. I'll show you here about the surf hooks. So they just, Easily swivel out. We had all four swiveled. You can then load your stand up paddle boards in there. Swivel them out of the way. And Jeremy at Matrix Integrated, Bend, Oregon, 22 Revel. If you have any questions, please contact us. www.matrixintegrated.cc Thanks again for watching.